Hello and welcome to Setius Reviews. Here I have an Lyaco or Lico Z5 Series a smartphone published and sponsored by Easy SMX. Uh, so let's check this out. Nice orangey red box thing. <coughs> Ta da! So what do we have? Is that the phone? That is the phone. What else do we have in here? That's all we have. Or some kind of um, share and win. Sharing is caring, right? Uh, some manuals, some stuff in here. I think the phone is the most important. Please open the back cover and remove the insulation tape on the battery before your first use. Okay, that's that's a good notice because a lot of people don't know that and then they're complaining that it doesn't work. But this is a default thing before I go on. I'm going to just uh, tell you that all these um, things on the back cover, like the tape, it's uh, very normal to things that come with a battery. I mean, everything should have that, but um, how do I open the back cover then? How do I open the back cover? I, I can't get it open, guys. I just can't. Maybe I should just use the force a little bit, but I am a little bit afraid to break it, so I don't want to use force. There you go. Ooh, big battery. So let's um, take it out. Where is the, uh, is that the, yep, there it is, see, that's the protective film thing. Like I said, this uh, is on most of the devices that come with battery already installed, like uh, doorbells and all sorts of wireless controllers. Um, I'm just trying to pick up some of the rubbish in there. Uh, right, do we have an SD card slot in here somewhere? And the SIM card slot? Uh, it looks like it's a tall SIM card, or maybe not. I think that's the SD card and that's the SIM card. I'm going to take it out from my um, other phone so I can give you a demo. So that's what I'm going to do first. All right, so um, I have a small card thing in here. Uh, that should go this way, I believe. Uh, yes, that goes this way. So let's plug this in there. That's good. Uh, the SIM card. Oh, nuts. It takes them. Okay, I have to take it out of the adapter thing because my phone takes it like this so so let's put this uh, which way does it go then uh, it goes this way it shows you so you see that that's why you have this corner is missing and the icon in here it also has that corner missing so that's that's how you're gonna know which way it goes a lot of people don't know it and then they're like trying to shove it the wrong way and then they're wondering why it's not working so you can put this this card in here guys see I shouldn't have taken it out, see? Ah, oh, damn it. Well, it's done, it's done. I can uh, put tape on it later. Just put a piece of tape on top. Or That doesn't matter because it's going to hold in place. This this is just a placeholder. It doesn't have to hold it, so. Uh, so, yeah, it's a uh, 12 sim, I think. I don't know if you can put two of them at the same time, but, um, but let's see. I put this in here. Let's put all this on. Uh, is it on? No, I think it's on. It clicked on very easily. So let's take this off. And let's see how it works. Then what? Where's the power button? Is that the power button? Lego. In meanwhile, I'm going to check out what it comes with. That's the charging cable probably. Oh yeah, it's just a charger. People still um, give these things. Personally, I wouldn't need it. Ooh, look at that. Where, where is that? I am hypnotizing you. Go to sleep. <laughs> right. Um, what do we have in here is some um, he headphones. Really? Really? I didn't expect it to come with headphones, but we have it anyway. So let's see what's what's happening in here. Welcome. Incli English. What, what, why did I say English? English. Okay. How do I uh, do this? Okay, just have to click more than once. Uh. <coughs> uh, we have internet connection. I'm going to actually connect it up. Not going to show you this. Right, uh, checking connection. This can take two minutes. Really? Two minutes? What is there to check the connection for? Uh, I don't think it's checking connection. I think it's just already downloading something on the background. Not sure, but we shall see. Yeah, whatever. Next. I don't want uh, want to copy anything, so I'm just showing you the first setup because you know 
some people want to see it if you don't then you can just skip on on the video uh, sign in to get most of your uh, device I don't know should I sign in so I got uh, past this screen in there the Gmail screen email screen so you can uh, protect the device with a uh, pattern pin or password I think I'm gonna use a pattern so you can draw it like this in here which which way you want like this see and and that's about it so it's ready I'm not sure what it exactly has all these devices and stuff but I'm gonna try out the camera quality for sure and see if there is anything else in there but I think that's about it I'm gonna check it out first and then I'll come back to it and give you the final thoughts on this phone so I've set this up and I've been using it for two days now just to get used to it and see what it uh, can do and here are the specs if you wanna check it then you can uh, pause it uh, read it it has a quad core uh, 1.3 gigahertz uh, CPU and the GPU is um, two cores 12 core and 400 megahertz 1 gigabyte RAM 8 gigabyte internal memory uh, it is 12 sim I think I mentioned it the battery is 2300 milliampere hours camera is uh, well you saw it it's too long to just read it but uh, it says it's uh, 30 FPS however if uh, I'm using the normal camera app which is this one then uh, it's only 10 FPS so I don't know why it comes with a camera app that is absolutely nonsense uh, the pre-installed camera app it's absolutely useless don't use it uh, it's really confusing I was uh, quite disappointed in it instead I'm using this one it's called open camera and this one does record uh, 30 FPS if I'm correct at least it says it does uh, so you just go into the settings and you have um, video settings and you have a video frame rate and you can choose in here if you choose 60 or anything higher than 30 it's simply not gonna record but it's just uh, it's the camera app that has the you know function and this this one it's uh, it's better quality than the you know the normal one can I just take a picture of something in here this is the video test it should be 30 fps I don't know it's a little bit laggy but um, I don't know we'll see so this is the quality comparison for you or well the video quality it's not that great to be honest but well I recorded the video so you can see it but uh, also I don't like the viewing angle I don't know how well you can see it on the camera see if you turn it like this and if you have it on the side the viewing angle is quite quite difficult to see if you like twist it like this and like this then it's very bad to like uh, you know to see the colors are changing so the viewing angle the only angle is like if you look in it from this angle like this so if you look at it from like straight on like this or a little bit under this angle then the colors are like all chewed. <laughs> also I don't like that the ports are on top this is a really really bad idea if you connect something on the top if you connect like uh, headphones in here I mean you're holding it like this and then then it yanks down on this wire in here and over time it just breaks this off right from here I've seen so many people who break their wires off like this so uh, and the charging thing it's the same thing I mean obviously you're not gonna really be using it while it's charging well maybe a lot of people actually are using it they just put it on the charge and then they're surfing the internet and stuff so I don't know and to speak of this thing in here I don't really like that you can't take anything out while the battery is in maybe it's a good thing because some people just yank them out and uh, then they just damage the, you know the cards I don't uh, think sim card can be damaged but I think the micro SD card if you like pull it out while it's like reading or writing on the card then it can you know corrupt the card and a lot of people you know don't know it so maybe that's why the battery is in the way so you can't just pull them out I've seen some bad reviews and people are saying it's freezing and stuff but uh, this this is because you don't know how to use the phone for example one thing I wanna go over with is um, where is this uh, where's the home screen here is the Nova launcher and this is what you should use not the default launcher see Nova launcher 
it's free to download you download that and this this is what the nova launcher is that's what i'm using i've been using this uh, since like a long time ago i think it was called helix launcher before now it's nova launcher so it has this kind of button in here you have all the apps and stuff in here it's very useful it's also a lot better on the battery than the default launcher that it comes with so definitely install the nova launcher it's definitely worth it guys it's a lot faster it's a lot smoother it saves your battery it's just a lot better see a lot of people think that uh, just because they buy a smartphone then it's you know it does everything for them no it doesn't you need to go through the settings this is why i've been using this for two days before i finish this review to get used to the phone to know the exact you know stuff i don't know if i mentioned it has 12 cameras obviously this one is 720p this one is uh, 480p i think but uh, yeah like i said that people don't know how to you know uh, set up their phones and then they're complaining over things that it's slow and stuff it's it's technically not you know the phone it's it's your software like i said put on the nova launcher go through your settings set it up the way you like it and well it's it's fast it doesn't freak break it charges it works i mean i i can't really find anything wrong with it so it's cheaper than the you know the top class phones and it has pretty much everything that well any android phone has so the camera quality like i said it could be a lot better but i mean for the price it's fine so is it worth it definitely it's definitely worth it guys so grab one of those if you want and have some fun and i will see you next time